When my parents, Michael and Mary Short, are found murdered in our Virginia home in August of 2002, the question on everyone's minds is, where am I, their nine-year-old daughter Jennifer? But as weeks go by with no solid leads, authorities grow more and more concerned that they won't find me alive. Those worries only intensify when a homeowner across state lines finds something horrifying in his front yard. Stay tuned to see how this tragic tale develops. In August 2002, a horrifying crime shocked the community when Michael and Mary Short were found dead in their home. While their nine-year-old daughter, Jennifer, was missing. Despite an extensive investigation, the case remains unsolved even after more than 20 years. On that fateful August morning, Chris Thompson, one of Michael's employees, made the grim discovery. Thompson had been working with Michael late into the night and was supposed to meet him early that morning. When he arrived at the house, he found Michael's lifeless body on a garage couch, shot in the head. Mary's body was later discovered in her bed, also shot in the head. It appeared that the couple had been killed in their sleep, unaware of their attacker's presence. However, the most distressing part was the absence of their young daughter Jennifer. Authorities launched an extensive search for Jennifer, hoping she had managed to escape the attack and become lost in the nearby woods. Despite dedicated efforts, including volunteers, search dogs, ATVs, Amber Alerts, and even a helicopter, Jennifer was nowhere to be found. After six weeks, about 35 miles away from the Short family home, two dogs belonging to Eddie Albert discovered a piece of what was later identified as a small rib cage and additional bone fragments. The police conducted a thorough search of the area and found more remains, including part of Jennifer's skull. It was evident that she had suffered the same fate as her parents, a single shot to the head from a small caliber weapon. While Jennifer's fate was now known, authorities struggled to unravel the motive behind this heinous crime. Robbery was ruled out as there was no evidence of anything stolen, yet the crime appeared to be premeditated as the phone lines had been cut. The abduction of Jennifer seemed like a plausible motive, but the reason behind her being taken from her home and subsequently shot, along with her parents, remained a mystery. Despite numerous leads, including early suspicions of Garrison Bowman, a carpenter who fled to Canada shortly after the murders, the case remained unresolved. Eventually, it was revealed that some of the evidence against Bowman had been fabricated by individuals seeking the reward money. Bowman was cleared as a suspect in 2007. Every year, a motorcycle ride is organized by neighbors and friends of the Short family to raise awareness and keep the case in the public eye. The ride crosses the bridge where Jennifer's remains were found, now named the Jennifer Renee Short Memorial Bridge. While the ride continues to generate new information, no arrests have been made so far. The Short family's house, where they were tragically killed, was sold at auction shortly after the incident. However, the house remained unoccupied for the majority of the years that followed. In 2019, the house mysteriously caught fire and burned down. Could this fire have been intentionally set by the killer, attempting to erase any remaining evidence from almost two decades ago? Although it appears improbable, the truth about this matter, like many other aspects of the case, may remain forever unknown. Please tell me what you think of this video. If you enjoyed it consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.